Definitely did not feel like work today. Mm -mm. Good. It was fun. Really glad. So much fun. This is how we made our first record, was in a space about the same size as that. Mm -hmm. We pulled all our money together, I remember this, because the guy who made the record with us did it on spec for us, and we've since paid him back, but at the time it was a huge deal to move a bunch of music gear. I mean, that wasn't the thing. You don't do that, and especially in Vermont. Like, bringing up a bunch of reel-to-reels and mm -hmm. doing the whole thing. So did you, you rented gear and just set it up in one room? Um, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. one main, it was a barn, so it was a, an old hay a barn. Garage, there was a garage door in the barn, and then Vermont. the garage door mm -hmm. went down and created a control room. Okay. So he would open the garage door and right. say, how you guys doing, you know, and are you ready for another take? And he'd close the garage door. Yeah. <laughs> and And then wow. we, you know, it was a stage We in decorated a barn. it with all the rugs, I mean, total, like, ambiance. And, and, and we brought like, in lamps from my house. Remember, we, we yeah. deconstructed my parents' entire house and brought all my... <laughs> Favorite chairs yeah. and rugs and lamps and everything that I loved about my parents' house and basically just moved it into the barn. Tried to make it as comfortable as possible. When is this we your second shows, album? This is our fifth. But wow, okay. This this record that we just put out, Grace Spot in Nocturne, is a self title. It's just like, oh, yeah. here we are! Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, well, where did you record this album? In the, the monkey room, Michael Jackson's monkey Michael room. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. It was great. I mean, for, from a drumming perspective, I was, you know, to the moon because it was high ceilings, huge room. It was Studio D. I don't know if you know, know that one there. You know, God, God bless our producer. He's a, he's a great friend. He, uh, you know, one of the songs, Tiny Light, has this big jam at the end. It's like a two-minute jam that just literally is live, happened mm -hmm. on the spot. And he brought in a belly dancer with a rattlesnake. I gotta say, it helps. Definitely. <laughs> it takes you out of yourself. Yes, it yeah. Does. Yeah, I thought it was cool that he did that. I mean, we all like do not like snakes, but we somehow, you know, made us play harder. I think Mark really what he did the best was he he crafted our psyche mm -hmm. more than he crafted the songs That's or important. told he us how to diffuse any kind of. He thing. just he just yeah. set the tone for yeah. a beautiful record to be made and let us do what we did. I think part of the making a record is just capturing who you are yeah. at this time in your life. Yeah, it's yeah, a photograph. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know? Yes, a photograph, yeah. and then let let it go. Yeah, try yeah. not to overthink it. Yeah. yeah. You, you definitely should not overthink things. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta know when to just go. Exactly. You know uh, Roy Gallagher? The, the Roy Irish. Gallagher. Oh, yeah. So you yes. know that whole thing he had, the, the Rolling Stones mobile recording studio? Oh, yeah. He would get off stage after a full gig and then tell his band, hey, we're going back on stage in 30 minutes and we're, and we're gonna run yeah. through the tracks again and push record. And they had a record that came out with a lot of tracks that would be either sound check or after the gig, them playing again. Which so I thought was amazing. Miles would do that. Yeah. yeah. They'd and go to the studio after the gig. Yeah. And record it at three in the morning. I mean, that's the 70s, right? Yeah, the drugs were different then. Yeah. You know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't know, it's a little harder in this day and age. <laughs> I like that, though. I think that's interesting. That, like, the, you know, because all your channels are opened up. By the end of a show, mm -hmm. you know how you You're feel so that feeling out. of... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, if you could get that, man. That, I mean, there's no better time to go in the studio yeah. than right after you do a I gig. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if concept. you can pull that off, it's you're, like... You're so in tune yeah. to the music at that point. That's why we need a recording studio on the bus, man. We just we get on the bus. Sit on